sequence. Meron tayo dito, 3, 6, 9, 15, 24, 39. Kung titignan natin yung difference nila, ito, 3, ito, 3, ito, 6, ito, 9, ito, 15. Medyo alangain. So, pag ganito, pag sequence, dapat mabilis tayo mag-isip kung maghanap ng pattern. So, anong pwede natin gawin una? Tingnan natin to. Ano to? 3 plus 6, 9. Anong pwede mong i-plus dito sa 15? Sa 9 para maging 15. Ito, nakita natin yung 6. 6 plus 9, 15. Then, uh, yung 9 plus 15, 24. Ano yung 15 plus 24? 39. So, ang sagot dito is 24 plus 39. So, ano yun? 24 plus 39 equals 3 group 1 63 so the correct answer is C 63 okay so next number 2 is analogy if 7 is to 3.5 then 11 is to blank so paano to maanap ito pwede gamitan ng ratio and proportion pero dito pa lang kasi sabi analogy so madali lang Makikita mo pa lang na yung 7, ano niya itong 3.5? Di ba kalahati ng 7 is 3.5? So, ang hanapin lang natin dito is yung kalahati din ng 11. So, ano kalahati ng 11? 11 divide 2, 5, 10, 1, lagay tayo decimal point, add ng 0, 5. So, the correct answer is 5.5 or letter B. Okay, number 3. Add and even numbers. If x is an even number greater than 2 and y is an odd number greater than 3, which of the following is odd? So, pag nakita tayo ng gatong variable, pwede tayong mag, ano, let, let, kunyari sabi, x is an even number greater than 2. So, gamitin natin x equals 4. Then, y is an odd number greater than 3. So, anong y greater than 3? Pwede natin gamitin is 5. So, dito substitute lang natin. Ano yung x4 plus 2 times 5 is 10. The answer is 14. So, dito add number. So, dito naman, 2 times 5, 10 minus yung x natin na 4. Sagot is x, even number na naman. So, mali yan. Ito naman, ano yung y squared? 5 times 5, 25. Plus yung y na 5 plus 4. The answer is 34. So, even number na naman. E kung dito, ano yung x squared? 4 squared is 16 plus ano yung y squared? 4 times 5 times 5 is 25. So, pag pinagkata ito, 41. So, the correct answer is letter D. x squared plus y squared. Okay, number 4, divisibility. Okay. Yan number tayo, 8,432,162 is divisible by 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 6. Ito ang So, isa-isa natin check. So, una, 1, 2. Kita agad natin na divisible by 2 kasi nga, di ba yung 2, nag end siya dapat sa even number. Yan ito, 3. Paano malaman na divisible by 3? Dapat yung sum ng digits niya is divisible by 3. So, ipag-add-add natin yung 8 plus 4 equals 12. 12 plus 3 equals 15. 15 plus 2 equals 17. 17 plus 1 equals 18. 18 plus 6 equals 24. 24 plus 2 equals 26. So, 26. Yan yung sum ng digits, digit, digits niya. So, yung 26 ba divisible by 3? Hindi. So, hindi ito kasama. Sa 4 naman, malalaman natin na divisible by 4 yung number kapag yung last 2 digits niya is divisible by 4. So, ang last 2 digits niya is 62. Divide natin ang 4. 22, 5, 20. So, may remainder siya na 2. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya divisible by 4. Then, sa 6 naman, ang 6, divisible siya na 6. Kapag divisible by 3 siya, and even number. Pero, hindi siya divisible by 3. So, hindi na siya divisible by 6. So, the correct answer is A. 1 only.
tulang. Okay, number five. Exponents naman tayo. So, what is quantity of 3 squared plus 3 raised to 8 raised to 10? So, ano nga ba yung rule sa exponents? Pag nakakita tayo ng ganito, pareho sila ng base, magkaiba exponent. And, di pagta times mo sila, ang gagawin mo lang dito is ipagpa plus ang, ang exponents nila. So, 3 squared times 3 raised to 8 equal lang yun siya sa 3 raised to 2 plus 8. Then, then, 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. So, ito na lang siya. Ganun na tandaan nyo. Kapag ipagta times siya ng the same yung base, ipagpa plus lang ang exponent. Then, ito na tayo. 3 raised to 10 raised to 10. Paano naman kapag ganyan? Exponent to exponent. Kapag exponent to exponent, gagawin niya ni pagta times lang. So, mangyayari, 10 times 10 is equal to 100. So, the correct answer is A. 3 raised to 100. Okay, number 6. About naman sa fractions. Ron ate one third of the cake. Ron ate one six. And Ren ate one half. 1 over 12 of it. What part of the cake left? So, paano yan? Siyempre, una, ipagpa-plus muna natin to lahat ng fractional part na makain nila. Then, ima-minus natin. So, 1 whole na buo. So, 1 third plus 1 six plus 1 over 12 equal sa ano na mag ng fraction? Hanapin natin ng LCD or this common denominator which is 12. 12 divided by 3, 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 12 divided by 6, 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 12 divided by 12, 1 times 1 is 1. Then, the correct answer is... Ay, wala pa ba ang correct answer? Dito sa ano to, correct answer is 7 over 12. Pero ang tinatanong kasi, what part of the cake left? Kung ito yung kinain nila, ano yung natira? So, 1 minus 7 over 12. Equal to, ano tong 7 over 12? I mean, yung 1, katumbas niya is 12 over 12. So, 12 minus 7. Then, ang final answer is 5 over 12. Letter B. Okay, number 7. About percentage. A bag has marked price of 250 pesos. If it is, if it is discounted for 30%, how much is the discount? So, paano na magkuha nito? Madali lang. Yung mark price na 250 pesos, ita times lang natin sa this, yung percent ng discount. Yung 30%, pag change natin yan sa decimal, ang katumbas niyan is 0.3. Si move lang tayo ng 2 decimal places. Naging 0.3. So, times lang natin. 0, 15, group 1, 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 0, 0, 0 and the uh, ano is 5, 7 0, 1 decimal so, hindi ko tayo magmumove so, burain na lang natin to tsaka 0, burain na lang natin to so, the correct answer is 75 pesos or letter D okay, number 8 na tayo about ratio and proportion if 13 red marbles are for 19, 19 blue marbles, how many blue marbles are for 65 red marbles? So, paano to? Ang sabi raw, 13 red marbles are for 19 blue marbles. Equal natin yan kasi nga ratio and proportion. So, equal sila dapat. How many blue marbles are for 65 red marbles? Ano yung binagay natin sa taas? ba yung red marble? So, yung 65 ilalagay natin dito. Then, yung blue marbles natin. Alam, so, let be natin. Anong gagawin kapag ganito? Cross multiply lang natin to. So, ano mangyari? 13B is equal to 65 times 19. Then, itong B equal na yan siya sa 65 times 19 divided by 13 so ito pwede natin pag times sa by divide 13 pero may mas madali dyan 
Pag napansin natin yung divisibility, itong 13 divisible siya by 65. Bakit? Kasi 13 times 5 equal siya sa 65. So, yung value nito is equal to 5 na lang. So, mangyari, 5 times 19. So, ano yung 5 times 19? 19 times 5 equal sa 19. 5 So the correct answer is A 95 blue marbles Okay, number 9 About average The score of a student in his 5 quizzes Are 95, 91, 97, 89, and 93 What is his average for the 5 quizzes? So sa average, paano na ako ng average? Ipag-add mo lang lahat sila Then i-divide mo kung ilang yung bilang nila. So, let's add lang. 95 plus 91 is equal to 186. Plus 97 is equal to 13 plus 1. 18 to 83 plus 89. 12 group 1. 16, 17. Re group 1. 372. 372 plus 93 5, 16, negative 1, 465, then 465, i-divide natin kung ilang sila, which is 5, So, the correct answer is 93, or letter C. Okay, so let's proceed. Number 10, consecutive integers. The sum of 5 consecutive integers is 345. What is the value of the smallest number? So, kapag binanggit yan yung sum ng sa consecutive integers, pag dinibide mo kung ilan sila, yun yung, mar- yung gitna. So, ito yan. So, pag 345, divide natin, ilan sila? 5. Ang 5. 6, 30, 45, 9, 45, 69. 69. yung gitna. Lima sila eh. So, kung gitna ito, ito 70, 71, then ito 68, then 67. Pero, anong hinahanap? Yung smallest. So, the correct answer is 67 or letter A. So, okay. Nasa question 11 na tayo about distance problem. The speed of a car is 89 km per hour. If it travels for about 3 hours, and change its speed to 94 km per hour and travels for and travels for another 3 hours how far does it travel so para na kumuha ng distance kapag kumuha ng distance ita times mo lang yung time sa speed niya so sa una raw speed of a car is 89 km per hour then tumakbo siya raw ng 3 hours so times 3 natin to okay so times 3 natin 7 2 26, 267 kilometers yung una niyang tinakbo then nagpalit doon siya ng speed niya naging 94 km per hour at tumakbo sa loob ng tapong oras so 12 1, 282 km yung natakbo niya dito tatanong how far does it travel so ipagpa-plus na natin itong dalawa na to 267 plus 282 is equal to 9 14 di group 1 549 km So the correct answer is letter B 549 km Okay, for our 12 problem Age problem After 24 years, my age will be twice my current age How old am I now? So dito hanapin natin yung age na natin Hindi natin alam So let N be our age After 24 years, pag sinabing after, big sabihin, nag-add. After 24 years, my age, age will be thrice my current age. Ano ro, after 24 years, naging thrice, naging times 3 na. So, how old am I now? So, isosolve natin tong equation na to. Pag variable to variable, ipagsasama. So, ang mangyari, matitira yung 24 dito. Yung 3 and... Kung plus n to, magiging minus n na lang siya sa kabila. 
then 24 equals 3n minus n 2n then divide natin both sides by 2 ma-cancel to matira na lang is n 24 divide 2 is 12 so the correct answer is a 12 years so okay dito na tayo sa oh sorry last problem natin 13th problem about work problem Alex can finish a job in 3 days Bruno can finish the same job in 5 days if they work together how long can they finish it? So, yung iba, yung pagkakamali nila pag nakita sila ng ito, ina-add na lang agad nila. Na kunwari, si Alex, tatapos na yung job sa 3 days, si Bruno, 5 days. So, pag pinag-plus mo, 8 days. Pero mali yun. So, dito sa 8, tanggal na agad to. Bakit mali? Kasi nga, siya mag-isa 3 days lang. Tapos ito, 5 days lang. So, nagtulungan sila, mas tumagal lang yung 8 days. Diba? Hindi. Dapat mas bibilis dun kasi nga, diba, nagtulungan. So, ang gagawin dito, may formula tayo dyan sa work problem. It's 1 over A plus 1 over B equal sa 1 over yung total. Ano yung total? So, yung 1 over A, yung A dyan, yung nagawa ni Alex plus kay Bruno na 5 days equal sa total time. Yung pa nagtulungan sila. So, ito ay pag plus lang natin. Ano yung 1 third plus 1 pif? 1 third plus 1 pif equal to sa 3 times 5 is 15. 15 divide 3. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 15 divide 5. 3 times 1 is 3 is equal to 8 over 15. Yung 8 over 15 equal yan sa 1 over 3. Ikaso yung hanap is t, di ba? Yung time. So, T, yung reciprocal nito, pag binaliktad mo ito, babaliktad mo ito, is 15 over 8. Or, pag isi-change natin ito sa mixed number, 15 divided 8, 1, remainder 7 over 8. So, the correct answer is 1 day, 1 and, one and 7, 8 days. Letter C. Thank you, Bob.